right, everybody, we're back. My next guest, my next guest is a uh, very talented Australian comedian who could be seen Wednesday at the Lobero Theater in Santa Barbara and at the Balboa Theater in San Diego this Thursday. Please welcome back to our program the very talented Tim Minchin. Clock. My people rang me up a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I've got people and a phone and a grasp on the passage of time. Yeah, they rang me up, said, Tim, do you want to go on Conan's show? They want you to sing a song, baby, it'll be fine, fine, fine. But the problem with my particular oeuvre is that half my songs are five minutes and oeuvre. And they say on USA TV that viewers switch off if you go past three. And a lot of my songs have a bit of bad language, which causes viewers untold anguish. I'm told your tolerance for smut does not extend beyond the golden girls and two and a half men. And so I need a song that only goes for three minutes Without no boobs or blasphemy in it A charming little ditty that won't raise the rates Of the hearts of the people in the pious states I need a song with a chorus and a verse Without no nasty cussing and a cursing I'm a little too lewd and a little too long I gotta write myself a three minute song And they said, remember boy, that music is like love making It's simply self-indulgent to take it past three minutes Remember, boy, that music is like love making. Everybody loves a penis, but length must have a limit. So you need a song that only goes for three minutes without no pornography or politics in it. A little less rude and more concise. Just be yourself, but brief and nice. 300 beats at 100 beats a minute with the nice clean jokes and a hoe down in it. I'm a little verbose and a little bit wrong. I gotta write myself a clean living three minute song. And even in the bridge. I won't be lyrically adventurous, conceptually contentious, or racially offensious, and I won't make double entendres at the expense of that Chinese. For China is a country that can bring me to my knees. For China, for China, for China, for China, for China is a country that will bring me to my knees. All right, ladies, you have periods, we get it. <laughs> Two, three, four, skin. I need a little happy, clappy country song. Nice and repetitive and not too long. Boring enough, but not too boring. With a key change here to prevent me snoring. I need a song that only goes for three minutes. Without no vulgarity or vulvas in it. You don't get lost by lingering. But I better get a giggle with my finger ring. No offense, so I can vlog more tickets to my concerts in the hope that the network sticks me on a late night show or a nice sitcom. You've got a box and I want to be in it, and apparently you'll only watch for three minutes. Don't mind me, I'll be done in three. Hey, Andy. How are you? I'm fine. Good to see you. You're quite tall, aren't you? Wow. That was amazing. How are you so tall? I'm. I. It's. I'm tall. You look tall. Have a seat, please. That's the tradition. Yes. Oh, you got me. Would you like shoes? Yes. You're gonna be fine. Can I have some shoes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry that was, uh, by the way, fantastic. That was, uh, that, was that was brilliant. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Was it tense for you to try it's and do that? It's very tense. That yeah. song. I, I I never enjoy it. Yeah. I I, uh, <laughs> I I I yeah. It's not nice. The I'm curious about something. You obviously he'll be there throughout the interview. Uh, <laughs> I just need to know where he's at. I just, just want to be aware. Here I am. There, yeah, he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, now I'm safe. I'm home. I'm in my happy place. And your hands are cold. I know. That's the other thing. My hands get cold. You get cold playing? Oh, I don't know. I, I love cold playing. Um. Cold playing. The verb to cold play. The, uh... It's to just 
relentlessly keep going. <laughs> sort of plodding motion. Well, are they, uh, how do you find it here in America, the, the crowds? How is it different? Say you've performed in Australia, performed uh, yeah. throughout the UK. Uh, American crowds, do they get you? Do they like I you? I think so. I mean, when, when I first started touring here, or considering touring here, all my English friends were going, oh, are you really are you sure? They're really conservative and they don't get irony and all that sort of stupid thing that the, Brit the Brits have a sort of comedy snobbery because they, they are incredible. It is an incredible comedy country. They, yes. They're absolutely bathed in it, but it's, it's bollocks. That I, 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 I notice very little difference indeed, uh, especially with my audiences, because I talk about sex and God and death and stuff, and they're quite universal things. I'm not talking about, oh, back in West Australia, don't you hate it when the bus is, you know, right, it's not, right. it's not, it's not parochial. But I do hate those West Australian buses. Yeah, well, I mean, they're, you're, I think you are, they're bollocks. In Australia, you're famous for hating our buses. That's why, that's why you <laughs> don't rate, for. we resent you. People are, well, uh, you've had, uh, anyone protest any of your shows? Anyone take offense and get really angry? Well, n no, I haven't had any protests. I really, I'm, I, I'm working on it, but I, they won't come. <laughs> I did, uh, I did a gig in Texas, in Dallas. The guy we were hiring the piano off, I always plan way in advance to get a good piano for my shows. And the dude obviously um, agreed to the hire and then YouTubed me and sent me this sort of ranting hate email. You know, you can tell by the overuse of capitals how mentally kind of <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 And exclamation marks. Yeah. Like the, the subject heading of the email was cancel, exclamation mark, exclamation Ten. He, Ten Wait, excellent. he wouldn't rent you the piano? He wouldn't. In fact, in his words, um, not for a million dollars, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and he signed off loving Christ, which is pretty awesome. But, um, but I did, I wanted that to try... It could have been an email from Jesus. It, it could have been. I mean, he's famous for caps lock. Um, <laughs> I, I did want to offer him a million bucks, because I respect someone who, because of their own moral, you yeah. know, whatever, decides they don't... I wouldn't want to support someone who is saying, you know, doing a whole lot of homophobic jokes, for example. I wouldn't hire my piano to right. Westboro Baptist Church. So I respected him, but I did want to test his resolve by actually saying, oh, okay, a million dollars, all right, and see if he still said, ha, 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 when he said, all right, my loving Christ doesn't matter so much. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Jesus uh, would take the million, Yes, yeah, so, uh, Tim can be seen Wednesday at the Lobero Theatre in Santa Barbara and at the Balboa Theatre in San Diego uh, this Thursday. Tim, brilliant song. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Uh, it's great to the show. Tim Minchin, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Too late. All right, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!